hi guys, you, 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 hi. Welcome to day 159. <laughs> Is that a nine? Anyway, so let's get going. One hour of exercise. Now it's about 550. So we should do 30 minutes of uh, cardio. Work out to 520, 520. And then another half an hour of muscle workout. Yes, let's get going. Hope you guys had a great uh, today for Sunday, right? Hold on. Is this today Sunday or Sunday? <laughs> I forgot. Oh my god. Oh, Sunday, Sunday. I won't forget about it. Yeah, today is Sunday. So, yeah, hope you guys had a great Sunday so far. Hello, hi guys. Sawadee kap. Kupung kap. Kumbawa. Pama hao. Pama hao. Da jiang. Let's go. Let's go. So, if you saw my description uh, in today's streaming post, yes, I made a savory pot pie. Pork means pork, pork pie. So unfortunately it's not halal. But it's like, uh, yeah, it's quite interesting because I never made savory pies before. Yeah, all the pies or tarts I made so far has been sweet. Okay, meaning it's like sweetener, stevia or coconut sugar. Or mostly sweet because of like carrots and sweet yam, which I've been making as well. So this savory one is also based on uh, carrots and uh, sweet yam and coconut sugar which is low GI version which I bought so basically it's a sweet but mostly savoury kind of pie it's quite nice so means pork that are made uh, still cooked and reduced in cream cheese uh, soy milk and uh, basically you know the, the vegetables and stuff like that and I did season it so it's like yeah it's really pretty tasty actually <laughs> not that I'm bragging myself but I thought when I ate it it's like hey it really tastes like an actual pie a savoury pie that you would eat out Side. Of course, it's a healthier version, so it's probably not as high. Obviously, not high carbs, low carbohydrates, low starchiness in it because I use coconut flour and I use psyllium fiber. Okay, so yeah, these two are quite low in carbs and with egg to make the pastry tart. And basically, I fill it with the pork means pork reduction cream uh, that I have. And basically, there you go. Voila, it's a <laughs> pork means pork. Pot pie. So you try to say 10 times like it's such a tongue twister. Pop pot pie. Pop pot pie. Pop pot pie. Oh my god. <laughs> Your tongue will be twisted man. So anyway, yeah, so that's that's the I get the highlight for today. I made pot 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 pie. Yeah, and with different toppings, because some of them has honey, some has sesame, some has um what do you call? Cap oh sea salt caramel chips and raisins, cranberries, stuff like that. So check out my, I guess, Facebook post. I did post it up. Um, I didn't put recipe because these few days I've been doing recipe of my own. Or should I say, what I've learned so far from the internet, I kind of like, you know, at the back of my mind, certain ratio of things I want. So when I made the puree of carrot and sweet yam, um, I saw the consistency, the sweetness and the smell of it. I kind of like eyeball it and, and put in the ratio of flour that I need, the egg that I need or, or whatever seasoning and just bake it. So it actually turned out well. So I guess I'm slowly, okay but slowly, I'm still an amateur baker or even, not even a beginner but still playing with it. That, that ratio wise, uh, seasoning wise of uh, baking something, I kind of get a hang of it already, somewhat. So yeah, still trying to experiment with different way of baking things. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> losing weight. But every time here, quite often I talk about food. Cause like I said, I still have the obsession with food. But if you cook your own food um, and put the healthier ingredients, healthier version of ingredients inside, you can still lose weight and get healthy internally, especially when you want to bring down your visceral fat, you know, and hopefully increase the muscle mass of your exercise and stuff like that. And also visceral fat will go down when you exercise. Um, so you can love food. You can love food. You can cook the kind of food you want, but using healthier ingredients. Yes, and very important, moderation. In other words, <laughs> restrict your portion, okay? A lot of people who, okay, let's put it this way. I know of cooks and chefs, really professional ones, and they are skinny and they are thin. And sometimes you keep asking them, and so I was like, oh my god, you're like cooking, what? Why are you so skinny? Won't you be testing and eating all your food and stuff so much that you get bigger in size? Yes and no, there are those who are bigger in size because they literally like to eat food and they overeat. But there's a lot of chefs who are professional out there 
they're super fit because they exercise. They eat moderately. They don't overeat. And in fact, they, most of them don't eat their own food. They will cook, taste, sample, and that's it. You know, they don't overeat until I finish the whole batch. The point of cooking, either in for my case, yes, for myself, or sometimes I cook it, I bake it for friends and colleagues or ex-colleagues or, or friends I know. But it's for me to eat over a period of time, slowly. So in moderation, portion control, okay? So that's how I can understand why cooks and chefs, partly yes, they don't like to eat their own food. I guess they're sick of it. Lah. They've been making food for other people and for selling it. Um, they probably don't want to eat their own food. And secondly, they know how to portion control and they exercise and stuff like that. So yes, you can actually cook food, cook lots of food, cook tasty food, uh, because you can control what you put inside uh, but still keep fit okay still be healthy so yeah it's all about your self-determination what you want to do in life okay portion control and moderating uh, your, 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 your intake your caloric intake carbohydrates intake uh, um, increasing the healthy fats lowering of course the unhealthy ingredients all right thank you so much guys hello how are you guys Happy, happy Sunday. Today is what, World, World Pride Day, right? So hi to my LGBTQ friends and stuff like that. Okay, all right, let's go. So today, day 159 of my cardio exercise, And I have, so far, burnt off a thousand, you no, know, more than that, 56,179 calories and traveled 1,762 kilometers so far in the past 159 days and I think today is day 30, 3 zero, day 30 of my master workout so yesterday I think I was sharing with you guys I didn't manage, I mean I went down to the gym to do the body measurement but they say I signed up the wrong session because that session is meant for, it's called onboarding it's meant for newcomers so I did it before in March so my subsequent visit should be called check-in session and it's not done here in Woodlands, it's in MLT. So it's they reassign me. Uh, next next session is in uh, afternoon uh, this coming Tuesday. So this coming Tuesday I will go and do my body measurement to know how much my muscle mass is now, uh, my visceral fat which is the more the main thing that I'm concerned of because in March my visceral fat is like 20. That's, that's pretty high, that's like twice the normal range. So normal should be 10 and below. It's only like a number, they didn't put percentage or, or, or unit or something like that. So I'm not very sure, it's just a number, say 20. Uh, on the printout for the machine measurement. So hopefully it goes down by one or two points. I mean, that would be great. At least it is uh, affirmation that my effort in eating well, exercising, you know, that I can go, I can reduce my visceral fat. Again, visceral fat, you can't tell from outside. People can be thin, can be tall, can be fat, can be short. Can't tell the visceral fat, you have to measure it. It's the fats around your internal organ. And it has been linked, okay? High visceral fat has been linked to diabetes and many other diseases, okay? So no joke, no joke. So that's why you can say, oh, why that guy is so thin but he still get diabetes or many other things. Yes, it can be genetic and depending on the type one or type two diabetes and many, many other factors. But one of which as an indicator is visceral fat. So, hopefully you guys go and measure your visceral fat and doing this measurement onboarding and it's by Active SG. it's free! In Singapore, it's free! You just got to sign up for a certain appointment, they bring you in with other people to sign up as a group and it's a 30 minutes kind of a program where they will teach you things and yeah, and tell you more about the, the results, what it means, what you can do, use the app, the Active, active Health Active Health app by Active SG. Uh, you can go and download it now actually and to put in all these um, figures basically so you can track your progress over time. So I thought that's fantastic. They actually provide all this for free. And there's no like as if there's advertisement or trying to sell you anything. No. That's literally they want citizen, Singapore citizens to be healthy. After all we are their natural Singapore's natural resources, right? Like, the only not the only lah, but the main so-called natural resources. In fact, I can't think of it. Is it natural even? <laughs> Are we grown from the land of Singapore? Well, okay lah. Like, being that so-called natural, being that it's not products or manufactured products. So, okay, we are natural resources of Singapore. Anyway, let's go, let's go. 
Prodigy, smack my bitch out. Okay, this is not bad work, right? <laughs> let's go, let's go. I think this one does not have a copyright strike. So when I upload it to Facebook and YouTube, it did not like strike it down and mute this part of the video where the song is playing. I hope not, I remember it's not because past few days when I played this during my fun exercise, they did not do a copyright strike. And most of the copyright claim. In other words, they allow the playback, uh, playing, there's a background or something, uh, and I'm talking over it, right? So kind of fair use, I'm commenting about the music maybe, I'm using it to exercise, and they earn from, they monetize from the viewer, uh, from the viewers of the video itself. Yeah. So most of the songs so far has been copyright claimed. There are one or two which I couldn't use, literally copyright strike. For example, I think the other day was what? Uh, earlier on, I remember Ramstein couldn't. Ramstein, the industrial heavy metal German band. I kind of like use one or two of his songs because it's like, oh, very hard thumping and it's very good for exercise because it's heavy metal. It's not the kind of typical rock, but it has a certain rhythm which I thought, yeah, yeah can try for exercising, but uh, nope. There's copyright strike and they kind of like needs to be muted. So I'm not playing it anymore fortunately. Because whatever I'm talking over it, it's going to be muted as well. Hopefully again I was I think sharing this the other day that hopefully one day they will be uh, advanced enough, maybe using AI, some kind of machine learning, and able to extract the background music, mute that so that the viewers, you know, the speaker's voice can still be heard. That'll be interesting, seriously. I'm sure maybe down the road that will happen, uh, but well, let's see who develops it. Is it YouTube, Facebook, or some of the social media? So they don't get into trouble of copyrights. Bitch, uh, let's go. Woo. Okay, let's do a quick check. Now it's like 6, 602, so 20 more minutes. About 20 more minutes. Yeah, if I'm going 23, I'm going 24, I'll be out already. That's why it's between 120 to 130 for half an hour. That's good. Anyway, thank you so much again. Domo arigato gozaimasu. Kamsa hamida. Sie sie tose. Kamsia. Salamat. Kopunkap. Kapun. Nandri. Tayabad. Merci beaucoup. Obrigado. Danke schön. Grazie. Muchas gracias. And Spacey Bo. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks for the support, the love, and the comments. Hope my action and progress inspire or encourage you guys to do something about your life without, you know, getting fitter, eat healthier, yeah, stuff like that. Again, our body is all deteriorating, so we can't stop that, we can't stop nature, right? As much as you put products or medication or whatever, uh, it's only exterior, internally, you still have to take care, so so you don't age with a poor quality of life. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I already have sleep this, did surgery, too relaxed so far, so it's degenerative. So my spine is just gonna get worse. The only way is me keeping fit, losing the weight, so the weight is not compressing against the spine. And also, hopefully, the muscle workout will strengthen my core muscle to support my spine and, and mitigate okay, the problem of the spine compression and therefore causing further damages and uh, hopefully it increase the metabolic rate as well which helps me to burn further of my you know increased metabolic rate helps to like a burn but maybe I think it boosts your energy level something like that yeah so it helps you to burn more calories naturally so even at rest someone with high metabolic rate will be burning more calories than someone that has low metabolic rate so in the last body composition measurement my metabolic rate is very low. It's like 1,600 plus kilo calories, okay, of burning. I'm not sure the rate is it per day or is it per second. I'm not really, it cannot be per second. It is per day, of course. So, 1,600, which means if I eat 2,000 and more, more than 1,600, I'll keep gaining a lot of weight. But normal people's range of metabolism should be 2,400 to 2,600 kilo calories. Yeah. So hopefully, this coming Tuesday, when I measure my body measurement and metabolic rate, that it has improved, you know, even by 
hundred or so or more, at least there's a progression of improvement. It's gonna take time, I'm pretty sure. I mean, not so pretty sure. It will take time. Just like me losing the weight, getting healthier, getting fitter, my blood test improvement, uh, liver function test, all this actually improved. It took months. And me starting at, I was just starting now, me at my heaviest two years ago, uh, 126 kilograms. It's like, it took me years to slowly, slowly, slowly reduce. And it's only the past 159 days that I became more active about it, you know, more conscious, more mindful about what I'm doing, what I'm eating, and what I'm exercising, you know, the activity. All right, thank you so much, guys. Hello. Bye bye. Thank you, thank you. Let's go, let's go. Come Let's go, let's go. 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 let us go 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 let us Nyan, nyan. So <laughs> it's a cute thing, I guess. Very kawaii. By the way, this one is called nectar. That's how from nectar it becomes honey, and stuff like that. And again, honey, yes, it's a natural source of sugar, but you can't eat too much because sugar level in in honey is very high. Yes, I did put it in my baking goods from time to time. Uh, I guess it's the other alternative of just refined sugar which is bad so try to get uh, natural sugar or if it's artificial in my case I'll use the artificial sweetener but again I'm trying to reduce it okay because I don't know what's the impact of artificial sweetener for, for um, long periods of time because there isn't like in-depth research if I'm not wrong to see the ill effects would it be carcinogenic would it be causing any problem down the line because it's after all a processed chemical okay yes the source may be from na from nature okay from plants or whatever but they extract it out artificially so you get stevia erythro melito many 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 auto all these are called what sugar alcohols not that it's alcoholic it's just that it's fermented so the extraction of it is alcohol so it's a sweetener but it doesn't have so called the carbs carbohydrates or calories of um, of those refined sugar like cane sugar corn sugar especially worse is fructose uh, uh, not fructose, I mean most of these fructose the worst is artificial corn syrup just kind of like corn syrup based yeah basically just it's very bad those are the worst alright silence DJ Tiesto's In Search of Sunrise remix I think yeah seriously it's, it says DJ Tiesto which I love yeah Tiesto In Search of Sunrise <laughs> it says In Search of Sunrise I think it's remix the last word yes this song sung by Sarah McLaughlin Musician or the band is Delirium and remixed by Tiesto. In fact, I should mention Tiesto the other day when I was at Apple today. Apple at today, sorry, today at Apple. So the crazy session. So they are asking us to share about, oh, you know, what musician you like, what you listen to. So I kind of, for some reason, mentioned, oh, yeah, in the past I listened to remixes and DJ like Tiesto. And then the instructor was like, yeah, he was like looking out, I was like, yeah, Tiesto. Like, to him, it's like the god of like, you know, DJ and stuff like that. Many, many of such, um, how should I say, many musicians, electro musicians, loves, you know, remixes from like Tiesto, uh, Paul Okenfo, okay, this is very old school. BT, BT is Brian Trencio, am I wrong? BT, all this, yeah. Then nowadays, we're looking at, uh, Oh my god, what nowadays DJ? I can't remember. Death Mouse? Okay, although Death, Death, no, Death Mouse. Death Mouse, Death Mouse. Death Mouse. Okay, that's quite relatively newish. Huh? And many and many others. I, I have not been following a lot of electronic music so much as when I was much younger. Let's go, let's go. Are you going for there? Yeah, 10 more minutes. 10 more minutes to go. Let's go. Thank you so much. Arigato. Arigato gozaimasu. Thanks for the likes. Let's go, let's go. Jayo, jayo. Today I'm doing a bit early because later on I may go down to the newly opened Funan. Yeah. 
Funan Center in Singapore is open. Is it called Center? Is it Funan is open again? So they reopen it, make it into a more like a lifestyle, sports, if uh, hub, mall. Uh, in the past, Funan is known for electronics. Okay, so it's like the more upscale, more refined. Uh, electronic store, uh, multiple stores, so it's all selling electronic related stuff. There's Challenger there the, the, at the highest floor, and then there are some, of course, food and restaurant at the, the lower floor. And in between, you have your HP, your, your Sony, your camera shops, you know, stuff like that. I bought my first camera there actually from John 3 16, you know, 3 colon 16. This is a, it's a phrase in the Bible. So, this shop, obviously, the owner is Christian or something. So, his, his name is, I'm not sure, yeah, his name is not called John. It's just John is one of the gospel, gospel? No, gospel. <laughs> prophet? No, not prophet, sorry. I'm not Christian. Anyway, one of the religious figure, important figure. So, I guess John 3 16 has a phrase. It's a proverb or a verse or something in the Bible. So anyway, so that's the name of the camera shop. So my first camera, Canon 650D. It's the first Canon camera, DSLR camera that has a touch screen. So because it's touch screen, it's like, oh my god, so much easy to use because we're using mobile phone touch, right? So that's my first DSLR camera. I think it was like 2000 plus or something. Not super cheap. Though. 1005? It's a mid mid range, I would say mid range. Uh, DSLR. So it's bought there at Funan. And after that, yes, there's some other lens or stuff like that I bought there as well. And sometimes, and back then, my, one of my army friends used to work at the Funan's uh, Challenger. So I would often go visit there. And sometimes he gives me staff pricing to discount if I buy from the Challenger. So I think that's why I also hang out there. And my friend, my other army friend who does photography for fun, I guess, also hobby, he hang out, hang, hangs out with his photography friends at the Kopitiam, or is it? No, Kopitiam. Yakun, I think. Yakun, like a, like a coffee, like a cafe in the first level of Funan. I remember there was, um, what else? Coffee bean? Is, there, is, there coffee, is there right? coffee bean? Coffee bean, and uh, so yeah. There's up, uh, up, 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 more, more meat, or up, upper class restaurant there. And the basement right around is the food court. Singapore is, is common. To see the basement level of shopping malls to, uh, to be food court. So food centers, there's a lot of like common food stalls uh, at the basement. So you have your Indian shop, your drink store, your Chinese, your Zuta, your Zuta is basically like stir fry if you will. <laughs> I think that's direct translation. Chinese stir fry food. So they have and they do like fried rice, noodles, hot pan and stuff like that, all these kind of different rice noodles. And uh, of course you have Malay food. Sometimes you have your you know, occasional Japanese food, Korean food, so it's a food court, you know. So basement of malls are usually that in Singapore. So I wonder this time around, the new Funan, what's the layout, how is it like? From pictures, it just it, it does look like it's a sports related, lifestyle related, uh, not so much electronic. I guess they know it's dying. Uh. People are like buying either from maybe Sin Lim, which is also apparently going to be closed someday soon. Uh, I don't know, the last news I heard was them discussing about on block, which means they're going to demolish or change or renovate the whole building and then they might move on somewhere because people are buying like electronics either from shopping malls like Courts or Game City or Challenger itself or they are buying online, you know, because it's so much easier and the shipment okay, relatively fast and it's cheaper to buy it from online retail than physical retail shop. Alright, six more minutes. Let's go, let's go. Why is this song inside my playlist or so? Although it's a remix, it's not that fast, I realize. Okay, 129 hits per minute. I'll skip this. It's too melodic, which is nice, but it's not suitable for workout. You need music like this. Where it's like strong tempo, consistent beat, and it goes. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> no, like, basically, you need consistency. So it's easy for workout. And you can feel it, so you know like you go left, right, left, right, up, down, up, down, you know? Something. Woo! Yeah, perspiring me, which is a good thing. But like the back, the front, perspiring. Oh hi, thank you so much. Thanks for the likes. 
どうもありがとうございます。本当、本当に、本当ありがとう。感謝だ、謝謝大家、感謝。とりまかせ。すらまい。OK、あじゃあ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、Merci beaucoup, merci, muchas gracias, obrigado, spécial, bon, bienvenue, thank you, je me, mon tour, thank you, je dis thank you, et thank you is like very, very much, thank you very much, thank you. So how's your day, guys? Exercising, going out, family, friends, picking out the steel, hopefully healthier version. But if your body can sustain, yeah, okay, don't stop yourself, fine. If your body can sustain, you have good health, good family history, no medical problem, and maybe you some kind of workout or activity so that as you grow old, your joints and legs and muscle will support you. Then I guess I don't see any problem. You eating junk food or any kind of food, oily food, sweet stuff. Seriously, if you know your body well, you've done a blood test. And it's been on the up and up, or at least it's not declining. Like high blood pressure or any of those lifestyle diseases, gout lah, diabetes and all this. Enjoy. Then yes, go ahead and enjoy. Yeah, you know any kind of food. No shame, no shame. Again, like I said, it's not about body shaming and stuff like that. Okay, any size is sustainable if your body or genetics or environment, and like I said, many other factors indicate and show that over time. Your body can sustain, okay? Good health. Be it what kind of thing you eat inside, be it processed food or like say fast food and stuff like that. But like me, if your body is degenerated, has medical problem, has bad has family history or medical problem as well, or uh, yeah, basically it just shows your your body and your body tests, um, like blood tests and all this is showing that yeah, you know it's not doing well. Or pre hypertensive, I'm pre hypertensive before. Uh, make you better, really, man. Make a change in your diet. That's the first thing you can do. Seriously, you better before exercise. Diet is the number one thing you can change. It's the easiest, although it's the toughest also in a way. Cause like for me, I'm a more addict to food, so it's very hard for me to control portion. The reason why I can do it, which everyone asks the same question, is emotional trigger. Friends that I know around New Year passed away, around near my age, and they're not very fat either. If I want, I was slimming down, but for some reason, maybe he got other medical problem which I don't know. He passed away, heart attack. Another one, a lady, quite slim, some internal organ failure, passed away. Also quite young, okay. And another couple, another friend, sister actually, had to bring forward their wedding because the in-law diagnosed with cancer. And can imagine the, I can, I mean, I can't imagine, but I can believe that the the strain on. The preparation, everything, which is supposed to be like later in the year, end up like wow, brought forward one whole year and they have to quickly do the wedding so that wow, you know, the in-law is still around and still still alive. But so it's quite, you know, you gotta think about it. Health doesn't just impact yourself; it impacts the other people around you. So that's why you gotta take care. So that's why I'm doing this because I know like my health is not that great in deteriorating. So that's why I really got to do something about it, man. Can't leave it to chances anymore. Uh, can't leave it to okay, never mind. I believe I will be forever. Or yes, I will die, but maybe it will impact others. You never know. So the only way is you try your best to keep healthy. So that's what I've been trying to do. So so far so good. Not that I'm the best, obviously. There's still things I need to work things out. Okay, there's still things that I'm not. I'm just poor at doing, I guess. Okay. So that's all, you know. Let's all work hard towards it. Kampade, kampade. Let's encourage each other to stay healthy, work towards a healthier quality life. Spark Man Drill, Mega Man X Remix, Game Chops, DJ Cutman, and Smooth McGrew. Hi, let's go, let's go. Sounds like it's like panting after doing exercise or something. This is really a good workout music. Sounds good though. I like that kind of beatboxing, using the lips and all. Change, mimic all the synthesized music or sounds. 
Okay, last one. Yeah. 20. Yeah. Okay, you can do the other legs later on. I need to catch my breath and relax. Let my muscle have a chance to rest about. Okay, let's do the deltoid muscle. If I'm wrong, there's a deltoid muscle. The arm raise. Higher on my right side, uh, left side. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Tough for me, I mean, I'm not exercise, I do muscle exercise especially for like 18 over years, okay, so doing it for now so far 30 days. Oh my god, it's tough, it seems to be easier because I've changed the resistance already twice so far, so this is the third one already, so it's getting better, I guess. But of course, you can't expect like 30 days and you get like whoa, bulky muscle. So I don't take protein shakes, okay, I don't take steroids or whatever, so I want to do it naturally. Okay, it's about toning, it's not about like building body, I'm not. Know, bodybuilder or competition so do it so that you can tone your muscle and keep fit okay that's that's the point unless you're competitive fine you know your bodybuilder then you have to do your throwing shakes and stuff like that i'm pretty sure as long as body can take it okay don't do it just for the sake of like looking good and stuff like that and then end up you hurt your own health internally okay next 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 what is it Okay, I think they're doing the half squat. Yes, half squats. Let's go. Let's go. One. Best canon, I think, this so. song. The remix. We do cruise with me. Ten. Eleven. Last one. 
Sentin. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Oh my God. And three. Thank you. 
come on. Thanks for the support, the love, and the comments. Okay, let's keep going. Thank you, thank you. Cool down, I say, because it's like I'm directly on the floor, cooling down, and yeah, 30 minutes of cardio, and now 30 minutes of uh, muscle workout. You're almost done. You are there soon. Okay, okay, let's go. Is that Ivan? Hi, Ivan. How are you, man? Okay, fat guy, losing weight. So far, so good. Lost 18 kg, but now plateauing. So it's like being up and down around like 4 and 5 for wow I don't know 2 weeks already 2 weeks or so so yeah definitely still adjusting the amount of intake and still adjusting my gear, my, my diet that's for sure okay let's go let's go 3 2 1 and up 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 8, 9, 30. Oh my god. Uh, kimochi, ne? <laughs> kimochi as in comfortable, okay? Like, feeling comfortable because now I'm resting. And this way of actually arching back, you know, it helps me to release my spine compression, which was the cause, of the, I mean, the problem. Uh, and so. Yeah, this actually feels good to decompress my spine. Okay, wait, don't waste the battery. So, turn it off my <laughs> the heart rate monitoring. Okay, yes. Okay, second set. Let's go. Three, two, one, and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Oh, yeah. Oh. After 18 years and years, I never work out, okay? There's like literally no muscle to speak of. So it's very hard for me to do some of the more tougher muscular exercise. Bear and army, yes, you know, they really whip you out to shape, you know. And my thinnest, I, uh, my lightest, I was like, it started at 98, I remember, before army. Then after army, it's about 74 kg. And after that, <laughs> I was like, oh my god, let my body loose, man, it's very bad. So it's like, my health get worse and the weight goes up to like, heaviest 126 kg, okay. No joke, no joke. That's why for a long time I was like, oh, should I do push up? I can't because my body weight and my arm don't have strength. Like doing this, I can't pull out really. It's that weak. So I, it's very painful also. So uh, that's why I'm doing all this resistance band exercise to start to slowly build up first the muscle. Anyway, it's just 30 days in, okay? Only 30 days. Day 159 was my cardio workout. So I started with 15 minutes and then slowly increased to one hour. And then when I start my uh, muscle workout, 30 minutes, I reduce back the cardio to 30. So because 30 is the minimum that 
you know, that you need to do the cardio and do it every single day, no, no fail. Even if there's something outside, I would even go to the gym outside to do it. But I try to limit that up because I'm not a member, so going in at one time, uh, it's very expensive. <laughs> okay, let's go. Three, two, one, and up. One. Thank you so much. Hi guys. Thanks for the likes, the love and the comments. Okay, thank you, thank you so much. Hopefully I in turn also encourage you guys to keep fit. Okay, if I could lose 18 kg in 159 days, I'm sure with determination and hopefully, you know, put in the consistency and keep it a good habit, you can also get fit, okay? Again, it's not body shaming, it's not about losing weight. For me, it's weight because of my uh, sleep disc problem, surgery on my back. And the weight is literally causing it to get worse and worse. I had two relapses so far. Last October, I had a second relapse. And it's agony, man. Paid thousands of dollars just to do the scan and everything else. So, no joke, okay? I'm almost at the point where I may need to do a second surgery on my back, which is terrible. Because that surgery will be probably very uh, risky. Because yeah, I've already done it once, and the second one will be like literally putting plates and stuff like that. So, no joke, no joke. And, and my age is better not, okay? Too high risk. Huh? I might get handicapped or like degenerate even faster. So best is, you know, lose the weight and keep healthy, getting fit. Unfortunately, I don't have a very good fam uh, background, medical history. So yeah, that's that's one way. Uh, that's the way that I'm actually approaching it now. If your health is good, everything, please cherish it and keep to it, okay? Don't let it deteriorate, okay? Seriously, you only got one life, one body. You're low, yes. You only live once, but live it with quality life. Okay, last set. Let's go. Three, two, one, and up. One, two, three. Strain on my abs and the back. Okay, my last cool down exercise. <laughs> Literally cooling down on the floor. <laughs> no, no, I'm stretching. I'm gonna stretch. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one, and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Hello, Xie Xie, so kind. Bye, Hello, hello. 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 Even the stretching is tiring, but you know, a cool down is still a cool down. So anyway, I'm stretching my back, lifting up my arms, my knees and legs as well. So only my tummy is propping up my whole body. Okay, let's go. Second set. Three, two, one, and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 30 Yeah, sometimes when I'm very tired I'm shaking <laughs> I'll start g giggling or laughing or something Yeah, something there is like <laughs> no, Actually, it's the endorphins kicking in, you know <laughs> Into your system and then you get that natural high And for me, I'll just laugh it off and stuff like that Okay, third set, let's go 3, 2, 1 And up 1, 2, 3 
27, 28, 29, 30. Oh, oh my god. Oh yeah, come on, that's it. And we're done for tonight, soon. Okay, let's go, let's go. Last one. Ichi, ni, san, and start. Yo, chi, ba, jo, shi, 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 san, shi, 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 wu, shi, liu, shi, ji, shi, ba, shi, jiu. San, shi, hao li. Liu, chi, ba, jo, san, shi, ok. Wow, 真是蛮累的。Ok, 就这样了。今晚上的一小时的运动，开心运动就这样结束，三十分钟的啊，卡丢的是卡丢，心脏的心脏的运动，心脏的运动，对心脏有益的运动吧。还有，其余的三十分钟就是这个肌肉的运动，没什么肌肉就肥油。Anyway, yeah, try to strengthen and tone my muscle. So anyway, as usual, okay, take care of your mental health, okay, your internal health. And your physical health, alright. And、uh, have a good night. Oya sumi, oya sumi nasai. Selamat malam. Anio kaseo. Zai jian la. Okay, wa an wa an. That's it. Okay, see you guys tomorrow. Ciao ciao. Take care. Bye bye.